Demand side management is really having customers lower their energy prior to trying to do something with with renewables and um, prior to doing anything else, but really looking at how they can control their energy at their at their home, at their business, so that at the end of the day, Accelerant doesn't have to build a huge power plant to meet an incredibly large demand that's happening out there. But electrical demand can be highly variable. Occasional and temporary periods of heavy demand can sometimes result in power interruptions that affect both homes and businesses. PG&E's demand response programs enable you to help prevent power interruptions and reduce their impact. Over time, your voluntary participation in a demand response program also helps avoid the need to build new power plants and allows time to develop and deploy cleaner, renewable sources of energy. Demand Side Management, or DSM, is a powerful tool that encompasses a variety of programs. Electric utilities have to produce enough energy to meet consumer demand. Demand changes over the course of the day as people turn on their appliances, run their air conditioners, and do other activities that use electricity. The peak of demand is the time of day when people use the most electricity. DSM can be used to shift load away from periods of peak demand or shave peak loads using demand response techniques. DSM can also be described as reducing overall demand using energy efficiency measures. There are a variety of DSM programs that can decrease the load demand at peak hours. For example, air conditioners can be used to respond to price signals. When demand is high, the price of energy goes up. At this point, customers can choose to have their air conditioners turned off to shave the load peak. This can lower their electricity bill. You could actually build appliances that automatically are following the price signal or even the frequency of the system and just nudge their behavior a little bit in a way that you know people wouldn't notice right. and we, we're not really you know uh, making the price signal uh, visible sure. in a good way to to most of our loads and i think we just have to work now on creating the right uh, financial mechanisms you know, to, uh, to actually encourage people to, uh, to want to participate in that more. Demand side management can be an economic tool to influence customer behavior. For industrial customers, DSM can be used to shift electricity intensive activities to off-peak load hours. In the agricultural sector, the same approach can be used to shift the electrical load by changing irrigation timing. DSM is likely to be adopted by various customer segments when its benefits exceed the costs. We have to go through our cost-benefit analyses because it has to be beneficial to um, our customers. And so we go through this entire process, and then once that process is complete, we go to the state, then we ask for their permission and their regulation, and they come back with questions, we answer them, and we adjust based on those, and then we pilot them, and we see how they work. If they work in the market, they go forward into some programs. If they don't, we find something new to do. There are many challenges to DSM. In today's energy market, the market structure is not conducive to implementing DSM, and there is a lack of economic incentives for consumers to shift their load to balance the energy system. Customers may be reluctant to opt into DSM programs because it involves giving up control of their appliances and sacrificing comfort. In addition, the economic benefits accrue long-term rather than short-term. Some of those behavioral things are a challenge, um, just with customers in general. And you know, even in a building here, in that say our building, we have a fairly large building here, there's you know, certainly opportunities to lower the load within our own building. But if I'm complaining that I'm cold, they're going to turn the heat up. Or if someone on the floor next to me or the floor above me or below me is cold, are going to adjust that too. So there's this, ability, this concern that if you try to make people comfortable as well, that's the challenge, is how, how do you make people comfortable and happy at the same time as trying to lower your efficiency? Utilities can promote energy savings by encouraging customers to invest in energy efficient appliances. This was successfully achieved by Austin Energy, a municipal utility in Austin, Texas. Austin Energy offers rebates and loans to customers to make energy-saving home improvements, such as installing Energy Star appliances. 
By deploying DSM programs, utilities can reduce or entirely avoid investment in new electricity generation. At the same time, customers are involved as partners in improving the system. With the advent of newer technologies, including Smart Grid, these programs will become all the more significant and useful for saving energy and better serving customers.